my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bachelor of computer applications second semester subject fundamentals of probability and statistics as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision Unit two: The important short question is: Define range. Answer: Range is the difference between the highest and lowest value in a data set. It tells us how spread out the data is. Formula: Range is equal to highest value, lowest value. Example: Marks of five students in a maths test: forty-five, sixty-seven, eighty-two. 53 90 highest mark is equal to 90 lowest mark is equal to 45 so range is equal to 90 to 45 is equal to 45 this means the marks are spread over 45 marks why is range important it helps us understand the variability or spread in data a higher range means more difference between values easy trick to remember high minus low gives the range to know range is the simplest way to measure how data varies quick easy and useful next important short question is to what is mean deviation answer mean deviation tells us how much the values in a data set differ from the average mean it shows how spread out the data is around the mean steps to find mean deviation one find the mean average of the data two find the difference of each value from the mean ignore minus signs three take the average of those differences example data 5 7 9 one mean is equal to 5 plus 7 plus 9 Divided by three is equal to twenty-one. Divided by three equals seven. Two differences. Three mean deviation is equal to two plus zero plus two. Divided by three is equal to four. Divided by three one point three three. Why it matters? It helps to understand how consistent or varied the data is. Mean deviation shows how far numbers walk from the average path. Next important short question is: Three. What is standard deviation? Answer: Standard deviation tells us how much the data values differ from the mean average. It shows how spread out or close the numbers are. Key idea: A small standard deviation is equal to values are close to the mean. A large standard deviation is equal to values are spread out. example marks of 3 students 70 72 73 mean is equal to 71.67 since marks are close to the mean standard deviation will be small marks of another group 50 71 mean is equal to 71.33 here marks are very different so standard deviation is large why it's useful it helps in knowing the consistency in data useful in studies business and sports easy trick to remember standard deviation shows variation how far from the average station next important short question is for what is the definition of moments answer in statistics moments are special values that help us understand the shape and spread of a data set they tell us about one how data is centered like the mean two how spread out it is like variance three if it's skewed tilted to one side four if it's peaked or flat like a bell curve or flat curve types of moments first moment is equal to mean average second moment is equal to variance 
थर्ड मोमेंट इज इक्वल टू स्क्यूनेस लेफ्ट और राइट टेल्ट फोर्थ मोमेंट इज इक्वल टू कुर्तोसिस पीक और फ्लैटनेस एग्जाम्पल इफ यू कैलक्युलेट द सेकेंड मोमेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट मार्क्स इट टेल्स यू हाउ मच देयर स्कोर्स वेरी फ्रॉम द एवरेज इजी ट्रिक टू रिमेंबर मोमेंट्स इज इक्वल टू मीनिंगफुल मेजर्स ऑफ मोशन इन डेटा नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन इज फाइव वॉट इज स्क्यूनिस आंसर स्क्यूनिस टेल्स अस इफ द डेटा इज सिमेट्रिकल और टिल्टेड टू वन साइड इट शोज द शेप ऑफ द डेटा एंड हाउ इट इज स्प्रेड अराउंड द मीन टाइट्स ऑफ स्क्यूनिस वन जीरो स्क्यूनिस सिमेट्रिकल Data is evenly spread on both sides of the mean. Example: Test marks like fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Two positive skewness, right skewed. Tail is longer on the right side, more low values. Example: Most students scored low, few scored very high. Three negative skewness, left skewed. Tail is longer on the left side. more high values example most students scored high few scored very low easy trick to remember skewness shows the tilt left right or bit next important short question is 6 what is kurtosis answer kurtosis tells us about the shape of the peak of a data distribution whether it's sharp flat or normal it helps us understand how the values are gathered around the mean types of kurtosis one mesocortic normal peak data has a medium peak like a bell shape example exam scores where most students scored around average two leptocortic high peak data has a sharp peak values are close to the mean example all students got very similar marks 3 platycortic flat peak data has a flat peak values are more spread out example students marks vary a lot easy trick to remember kurtosis tells the curves height tall normal or light it's like seeing whether your data forms a sharp mountain or a flat hill Next unit to important long questions. First important long question is What are the measures of central tendency? Answer Measures of central tendency are tools in statistics that help us find the central or average value in a set of data. They show where most values in a data set lie. It's like finding the middle point of a group of numbers. There are three main measures mean median and mode one mean average this is the most common method you add all the values and divide by how many values there are example data is equal to 10 20 30 mean is equal to 10 plus 20 plus 30 divided by 3 is equal to 60 divided by 3 equals 20 trick mean means total divided by count two median middle value arrange the data in order and pick the middle number if there are two middle numbers take their average example data is equal to 15 25 35 median is equal to 25 middle value if data is equal to 10 20 30 40 median is equal to 20 plus 30 divided by 2 is equal to 25 trick median is the middle when sorted three mode most frequent this is the value that appears most often in the data example data is equal to 5 7 7 8 10 mode is equal to 7 it appears twice trick mode is the most repeated value why are these important they help us summarize large data sets compare different groups make decisions based on trends easy tip to remember all three 
mean is average median is middle mode is repeated a little whether you are analyzing exam scores cricket stats or survey results central tendency helps you find the center of the story next important long question is to what are the measures of dispersion answer Measures of dispersion show us how spread out or scattered the data is. While central tendency, mean, median, mode tells us the average, dispersion tells us how much the data varies from that average. It helps us know if the data values are close together or far apart. Main measures of dispersion. 1. range. The difference between the highest and lowest value Example Data is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40. Range is equal to 40 to 10 is equal to 30. Trick High minus low is equal to range to no. 2. Mean deviation It shows the average difference of each value from the mean. Example Data is equal to 10, 20, 30. Mean is equal to 20. Differences is equal to vertical bar 10, 20 vertical bar, vertical bar 20, 20 vertical bar, vertical bar 30, 20 vertical bar is equal to 10, 0, 10. Mean deviation is equal to 10 plus 0 plus 10 divided by 3 is equal to 6.67. Trick: It shows how far numbers walk from the mean. Three variance. It is the average of the squared differences from the mean. It gives more weight to large differences. Trick variance is equal to square the spread. 4 standard deviation SD. It is the square root of variance. It tells us how much values vary from the mean in the original unit. Example. If SD of marks is equal to 5 It means most students scored within plus or minus 5 marks from the average. Trick standard deviation is equal to standard way to see deviation. Why is dispersion important? It helps to understand consistency in results, risk or uncertainty in data, comparison between different data sets. Easy tip to remember. Mean tells the center dispersion tells the difference next important long question is 3 how to find coefficient of skewness by carl pearson method answer carl pearson's coefficient of skewness helps us know if the data is symmetrical or skewed tilted formula using mean and mode skewness sk is equal to mean mode standard deviation sd If mode is not available we use SK is equal to 3 mean median SD What does the value mean SK is equal to 0 data is symmetrical SK 0 data is positively skewed tail on the right SK 0 data is negatively skewed tail on the left Example Let's say a class has the following marks Mean is equal to 60, mode is equal to 50, SD is equal to 10. Now apply the formula. SK is equal to 60, 50, 10. Is equal to 10, 10. Is equal to 1. Skewness is equal to plus 1, which means data is positively skewed. More students scored lower than the average. Easy trick to remember formula. Skewness is equal to mean minus mode divided by SD in code. Or if mode is not there, three mean median over SD. Why it matters? Helps understand the shape of data. Useful in exam analysis, business, economics. Tells whether most values lie on the left or right of the average. Quick recap. Use mean mode SD. Positive is equal to right tail. Negative is equal to left tail. Zero means perfect symmetry. Next important long question is. Four. Explain Kurtos's problem with example. 
आंसर कुर्टोसिस टेल्स अस हाउ पीक्ड और फ्लैट द डेटा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज इट हेल्प्स अस अंडरस्टैंड वेदर आर डेटा हैज एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज कॉल्ड आउट लेयर्स और इफ इट इज स्प्रेड इवनली देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कुर्टोसिस वन लेप्टोकर्टिक शार्क पीक हैवी टेल्स मेनी एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज टू मेसोकर्टिक नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइक अ बेल कर थ्री लैटिकर्टिक फ्लैट पीक लाइट टेल्स लेस एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज स्टेप बाय स्टेप एग्जाम्पल लेट्स वर्क थ्रू अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल यूजिंग अ स्मॉल डेटा सेट डेटा टेन ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन एटीन स्टेप वन कैलक्युलेट द मीन एवरेज द मीन इज द सेंटर ऑफ द डेटा मीन इज इक्वल टू टेन प्लस ट्वेल्व प्लस फोर्टीन प्लस सिक्सटीन प्लस एटीन फाइव इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फिफ्थ इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन स्टेप टू कैलक्युलेट द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन एस डी फर्स्ट वी फाइंड द स्क्वेड डिफरेंसेस फ्रॉम द मीन एंड देन द एवरेज ऑफ दीज स्क्वेड डिफरेंसेस वेरियंस आफ्टर दैट वी टेक द स्क्वेर रूट टू गेट द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन One differences from the mean. Two squared differences. Three variance is equal to is equal to eight. Four standard deviation SD is equal to eight to dot eighty three. Step three: understand the shape of the data kurtosis. Now, since the data is evenly distributed, values are not too far apart or too close together. the distribution is mesocortic it has a normal shape kurtosis value near 3 means normal distribution mesocortic why does this matter leptocortic if the values are closely packed around the mean and there are extreme values the kurtosis is greater than 3 sharp peak platycortic if the values are more spread out with fewer extreme values the kurtosis is less than 3 flat peak easy trick to remember kurtosis shows how tall or flat the data curve is sharper peaks is equal to lepto flat curves is equal to plateau this simple example shows how kurtosis helps us understand whether the data is normal extreme or flat i hope you understand easily each question All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers. And syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video with your friends.